So my cyberpunkers, I am back with another news video and today we cover the latest from the past couple of days I have missed which includes a warning to content creators, release times for the game, pre-installs, the official guide trailer and Shrad's remarks on the game dying after a month. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk be sure to subscribe. Okay so let's get into it. So as we know this game has drawn a lot of attention all over the gaming world, arguably the biggest game ever in terms of anticipation, hype and much more. So it's kind of obvious big time streamers like The Duck and Shroud will jump on board the bandwagon and well cover and form an opinion on the game. Shroud a few days back said the following during a stream which came off in my opinion a little entitled but hey make your own mind up on it. He said replying to a follower of his for a stream that he hopes the game dies in a month where he later explained because he doesn't want to spend too much time playing a single player game. Well I'm sitting here like, well what's the game and its longevity got to do with you and what you play? Just because the game's going to be popular for a long time, it doesn't mean you have to play it for said reasons. It's crazy how many of these big time streamers and content creators think they must play and cover a game just because it's big. That isn't the case whatsoever. I mean to be honest I can't imagine how upset some of these people are going to be when they realise this isn't just a futuristic GTA and the depths to this RPG will be crazier than anything they've ever seen. Now the source to where this information came from and a clip of him saying said things can be found linked within that video description if you do want to check it out people. He does go on to say that he is looking forward to the game and what a true next gen game could be but in my opinion this was after what he said initially about the game dying in 30 days and in my opinion just trying to backtrack. Ok so let's move on guys, now if you ordered the collector's edition there are multiple retailers who have already sent these out to people which I will add you lucky bastards and this does mean you can play the game early too as I have seen many many people report all over social media where they're showing off goodies that come with this collector's edition but also remember though guys you haven't got the game yet as I've said previously be careful where you put your eyes as there are plenty of campaign spoilers out there in the wild more so being uploaded every single day I myself have been caught off guard by a couple too so just be careful especially if you want to stay spoiler free ok so moving on and with the release in sight and while many folks already having their hands on the game CDPR put out a statement to content creators and while any folk out there who might have the game early statement you can see on the screen now basically do not post any of the game before December 9th 12pm CET if you do that shit will get taken down simple CDPR also dropped this image which shows the release times of the game worldwide which is great information to know. Now we know you can already pre-install on the Xbox if you've pre-ordered the game digitally. On PlayStation you can pre-install two days before this game is released depending on where you are from in the world. Now I do believe it's around 60 to 70 gigabytes. I'm not sure what the day zero patch will be but I've heard a rumor that it will be around 56 gigabytes. So that's a lot of space you may indeed need people. So keep that in mind. Stadia and PC preload of the game will be available on Monday 7th of December at 12pm CET on Stadia and 5pm CET on Steam and the Epic Store. And while guys with the release of this game comes the official guide which I've already pre-ordered but haven't received mine yet but yesterday we got a trailer in which you can see in the background now. This if you're interested in the guide will be linked below. Like I said I've already pre-ordered mine and I cannot wait for it to arrive. But yeah guys that is it for another video just a short but sweet one covering the news from the latest few days. The game will be here pretty soon now, 5 days and we'll be all playing Cyberpunk 2077. Remember if you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk, when the game drops I'm going to cover absolutely everything. So make sure you stay tuned by subscribing. People if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on. 
by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one